All right, guys. Hi, it's Miss Fry. This is the next video in our clarinet si series. I think it's video four. Um, so this video, we've already talked about the mouthpiece and barrel, so you understand how to do that. Now we're going to talk about putting the whole instrument together. Now I need you to be very, very careful in how you do this. The clarinet is um, the most common instrument that I see broken by people putting it together the first time and doing it in a rush and not doing it correctly. Um, and if you break it, it's not cheap to fix. So please make sure you're following along, going step by step. Watch this video over and over again um, and make sure that you're, you are doing everything I say. If you're not sure, don't do it, okay? Ask for help. All right, so we're gonna start from the bottom to the top of our clarinet. So the bottom is the bell. So in our part, parts video, we talked about the bell. So I have my bell and my lower joint. So remember the lower joint is the one with the three circle keys on it. And it has lots and lots of pinky keys on it. It's the longer of the two joints, just to make sure you have the right one. Now this is very easy to bend. So all of these long metal parts, these are called rods. They're not very sturdy. They're meant to move really easily. So they're very easy to bend. So you don't want to hold it by the keys and all these pinky keys up here and the rods. That'll bend them really, really easily. Okay. So the best place to hold it is on the back. This is your thumb rest. Holding it underneath the thumb rest where there's really not any keys to break. So I'm going to hold that like that. Now the tenon. Remember we talked about a tenon. T-E-N-O-N. The tenon down here with the cork. That's what's going to go into the bell, okay? So you're going to want to get your cork grease again, just like we did on the mouthpiece, okay? Same thing, just put a few little dots on the cork. Again, you don't want it really goopy. So if you look at it and it looks like this, that's goopy. You don't want that. So if you see something like that, take it and kind of spread it around, maybe wipe off any excess. So you want it to be greasy, but not goopy, okay? So again, I'm going to hold underneath the thumb rest. Um, I have it in my right hand and the bell in my left hand. You're just going to put them straight up and down in and twist and push. Don't just shove it in, twist and push. I'm not grabbing on any of these keys over here. Twist and push until it's lined up and all the way in. Okay. If your cork is new, if you have a brand new clarinet, that may be a little bit hard. You may have to work at it for a while, twisting it back and forth to get that to go all the way in, okay? Um, if you absolutely can't get it in and you have like a grown-up help you and they can't get it in, um, you can use a very, very light grit sandpaper um, and take a little bit of that cork off. So have an adult help you with that. Um, that is something that you can do. Just take off a very little bit at a time because you don't want it to be too loose to where the bell won't stay on, okay? All right, so now you have this, your bell and your lower joint. Now we're gonna do the upper joint. So I'm gonna lay that down. Don't sit it on the bell, lay it down off to the side. I'm gonna get my upper joint. When I pick it up out of the case, I usually just use my two fingers like this. So I'm not bending once again, tons of things on a clarinet that you can bend, right? So I'm gonna hold it where there's not a lot of keys. I'm not pushing or gripping on any of the keys or mechanisms. And then this one has two corks, two tenons with two corks. So I'm going to grease both of those corks. Okay, same thing, just a little bit. Move it around with your fingers. Okay, down here on the bottom part, you'll see this key that hangs over the cork. Okay, so it's underneath the four side keys. This is really, really important. Okay. This is called the bridge key. This is the part that you will break if you are not careful. Okay. This bridges the upper joint and the lower joint together. So when we put the two joints together, you have to open that bridge. Okay. To open that bridge, you press and hold on the closed key. Okay. So I'm pressing and holding on that closed key. That's going to open the bridge. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my lower joint. On my lower joint, I have the other half of the bridge right here. Okay. So it's kind of opposite the pinky keys. So locate the other half of that bridge. This part has to be down when the two parts go together. So lower part has to be down. Upper part has to be up. Okay. 
Now, if I press down on these circle keys, those lift that bridge up. I don't want that. So I'm gonna hold down here, okay, towards the bottom where I'm not gonna push that bridge, okay? Holding the closed key on the top, I'm gonna line them up. So make sure that you're facing all the circles the same way. And then slowly and carefully, tiny twists back and forth. Now, if I do big twists and I twist too far, my side keys over here are gonna hit my pinky keys over here. That's gonna bend those. No, 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 bad, 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 okay? <laughs> so make sure you're holding down that closed key, not holding the rings on the bottom and just tiny little twists back and forth to where the bridge lines up. And then when you release that open key, my bridge is lined up. They're touching the top parts on top of the lower part. So now my clarinet is all connected, okay? We already talked about the mouthpiece and barrel. You have all of that already set up. Normally I start with this, so I already warmed up on this before I put it on the clarinet. Okay, I'm, my top tenon is already greased. Mouthpiece and barrel just slides, twist, twist, twist to where it's on. And then you're gonna check your alignment. So your reed is gonna line up with this right here. This is called your register key. It's where your thumb goes, your thumb key, your register key. All that's lined up with your reed and then it lines up with your thumb rest. All of that should be in a straight line, okay? Your clarinet may have some like labels on it with like the company name of the company that made it. You can line those up if you just want them to be lined up because it looks pretty. You don't have to, okay? So there's the whole instrument assembled, okay? Once you have it assembled, you never, ever, ever want to set it down on the bell. Um, it's really easy for it knocked over and actually this tone ring on the bottom of your bell can get scratched up um, So if you're ever gonna leave you want to lay it down um, On the part that doesn't have a lot of keys, okay um, You can also get a clarinet stand it's pretty cheap. I think I got this one on Amazon um, So if you know you're practicing at home and you need to put it down or if you want to put it down like while you're at co-op going to the restroom or something There we go. A clarinet stand's good to have because you can just put that on there. Okay. So there is our clarinet. Bye.